Today we're facing a huge challenge because we really didn't design this world to serve for everyone. One of our greatest barriers to making progress when it comes to being more inclusive is that we have a tendency to design and engineer things for ourselves. 90% of companies prioritise diversity, 4% consider disability. This is a 1.3 billion population we're talking about. It's a market that is not being tapped into. With the fourth industrial revolution, our aim should be to attain inclusive growth, which really benefits everyone. These individuals and voices need to be intrinsic to the development of projects, legislation, from the very moment of the conception of the idea. Otherwise, we're still creating within the framework and lenses and biases that exist within the society. If just under 20% of our global market has a disability, how can you serve that market if you don't understand it internally in your business? As technology changes, we will need to think about how it can, in fact, augment human capability of different abilities, give them the skills so that they can fully participate in our economies. As there are multiple diversities in the universe, there are also diversities in capacities, generate potentialities that can be aprovechadas as a benefit not only of the people with disabilities, but of the whole society. Some of the car manufacturers have started introducing these exoskeletons into their production line. On the one hand, you could think of these as helping protect people who have normal physical abilities, or you could imagine that these same exoskeletons could help people who before would not have been able to do the job, but now they can. The best is to think about these as not assistive technologies, but really come at the product and service with universal design principles. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? You are at home or at school? We are all at school right now. There's not one product or service that is not inclusive. Hello, hello. 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 Maybe we can move to the point of thinking beyond this idea of differently abled meaning less than something, but that we're all differently abled. The greatest force for change is going to be the importance of individuals being willing to step forward and be vulnerable, sharing their unique lived experience, which is going to shape business frameworks and political legislation with empathy rooted at every decision. The next generation voice is the greatest chance that we have for change for an inclusion revolution that means everyone and no one is left behind.